Hello, hello, hello. I'm listening to Jiddu Krishnamurti and David Bohm. The sun is setting and I'm going to film my figurines and I hope that there's enough sunlight in the staircase to show them. And if not, I might have to use a flashlight to demonstrate what I want to demonstrate. I figure that I can do some kind of like a Sino box type of scenario with those figurines in order to clarify a couple of things about social dynamics. So I'm going to try to do this now. I'm turn this around and I hope this shows. Might have to, maybe I can turn the light on. Oh, no. I think it's still okay. So here is Kasper and Seppel. Kasper and Seppel. This is myself here uh, with a tree. Here's another in vitro meat plant. Yeah, which one can I take? I'm gonna take this here to make this more understood, all of these things. So, okay. Caspar and Zeppo, they're the only human type of figurines that I have here. Uh, no, I have three. This is another human human figurine. But the other ones are all plant and blocks and and just oh here's some kinda like I would call them the pawns. Those are my pawns. There's a lot of pawns in the world. So okay, so and those are I will call those buildings. Okay, so those are buses behind it. So I'm making, I'm making a video. Yeah, can you let them out? That'd be great. So, okay, so this is me, and I, I'm always in the background, standing in the background, observing, and no one. I have a message, but no one hears me. Okay. And here are the two popular people, okay, and they're in constant dialogue with one another. And so, um, let's see. I'm gonna take this here. This is this is this is a tree, but I'm gonna call this the queen. Okay, this is the queen. The queen with the light green colors. And the queen says, look at me, I am your leader. And here comes the pawn, here come a bunch of pawns, and they are all standing around and they want to be her pawns. And love me, love me, love me, says every one of them. Love me, love me, love me. Look at me, look at me. Love me. Okay, and so, so, and they have no education, and they have, they don't offer anything in the discussion. So that's why the queen doesn't even look at them. She doesn't even see, doesn't even perceive them because there are so many of those messages coming to her that it's overwhelming. I'm gonna turn the light on. That makes it look better. <laughs> Ah, this is better okay so so the the queen and here's um, her boyfriend he's kind of like in the background and there's another guy in the background here he wants her attention but there are so many of them that want her attention they can't get her attention so and she says that she's really good and um, she has a lot to say but and this is myself. I'm looking at her. I admire her. You know, she's blooming. She is growing. And I am paralyzed in fear, fat, and, and um, feeling sh yeah, ashamed and feeling like I need to hide myself behind that bus, really. Yeah. So, um, 
but I have a message too. And that message is equally important to the Queen's message. But Caspar and Seppo, you know, the, the popular guys, the popular people, they don't see me, they don't even see the Queen. They want to be Queen themselves. So everyone has in the world has their agenda. Everyone is, you know, there's a religious group in the back there. They keep to themselves. They're not even allowed to fraternize, as they call it. So, um, or fornicate. Those are words that I've never heard before in my life until I've come across some religious groups and talked to them. So, and he is... Um, here is a child, and here's another. Here's another follower, another follower. Follow, 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 follow. Okay. And um, and this guy here, this woman here. I'm gonna call her a woman here. This, this, this starfish there. That woman says to me, "Do you have a following? Because if you do, then I will follow you." And I say. I say to the starfish, no, I showed over there, across that bus, I don't have a following, okay, no following, <laughs> yes, I'm alone, and it sucks, but you know what, I'd rather be having freedom, and do what I, I want to do, I want to do, not because of spite or because I, I I'm a freak or I'm, I'm maybe you perceive me as a freak but not because I want to grandstand or do something special or because I have different ideas that's as simple as that I have different tastes in shape and material and I dress differently and I'm kind of like from the future you know if you want to call it that and um, yeah, it's perceived as unpopular, as lame, as not interesting. And so yeah, I would much rather be alone here. So I'm alone, uh, starfish. <laughs> I love you, starfish. Okay, but you join that religion there behind you. Okay, you go ahead, join that religious group that in the corner. So I don't need followers. I don't want followers. My message is, to the world is, I want you to be your own gurus. Can you be your own guru? I'm gonna talk. I'm talking to Casper. Casper, he doesn't even hear me. He doesn't hear me. He is, he's so popular. He doesn't. There are so many messages. He can't get my message. Same with the queen. She doesn't get my message either. She doesn't even know I exist. I'm right here next to her, but she doesn't know I exist. Okay, and it's okay. She's the queen, and she is, she's a goddess. Okay, she's a, a reincarnated goddess, and I recognize that, and it's all cool. But that doesn't mean I have to be her follower, right? <laughs> I can hold her hand, but and maybe she can give me some comfort even. But I'm not going to be her follower. Why should I be her follower, right? You gotta be a follower. You gotta be follower. She's the she's the the goddess, the queen. You need to be her follower. If you if you're not her follower, you're not gonna be invited to our birthday party. I don't want to be invited to your birthday party. I don't need to be invited to a shitty birthday party. Okay. I don't want your alcohol and your pharma drugs and your popularity rules and your Hollywood standards and all of this. Here, this is the guy. Who the fuck are you? You look like a total dork. You better dress feminine. You better put some fucking makeup on or no man is ever going to pay attention to you. But I don't want any man. I don't want just any man who just who has to have his fem female feminine fetishes. Yeah. I'm from the future, okay? I am glowing in a metal green. <laughs> And I got my 
work worker pants on okay and my moon boots and my hoodie and i like comfortable clothes comfort 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 anytime over high heels and stilettos and long fingernails okay i don't want long fingernails look my fingernails are short <laughs> i want short fingernails so i can do artwork right and that guy there he doesn't know what to say he just he leaves he goes way back there there's a there's a bar over here with a broken wall he, he's going to drink now because, yeah, I don't know. If, he doesn't even know what he wanted from that lady. Why did he even go over there? What was the point? To put her down? Yes. <laughs> yes, they want to put me down. <laughs> Anytime, all the time, and anywhere, and with any kind of insult, and as, as hurtful as possible. Okay. So, because I'm different. People don't like different people, okay? So, and then when you're not even looking like this queen here, when you're not even queenish, then you're really gonna be, you're gonna really gonna be hated. At least the queen, she gets adored and, and although put on a high pedestal and a lot of men way too intimidated of her, but at least they adore her and stuff. But with with Nicola, Nicola, oh no, Nicola is living in her motorhome. Yeah, that's her motorhome. Okay. And Papa, come to me. Come to me, my love. And those are actually those are actually dogs. <laughs> These two motorhomes. Yeah. So. Well, we'll say that this here is Dave, okay. And this is the motorhome. So Nicola is driving in a motorhome, and people treat her badly, and they don't know what they, people like to put people into categories. I need to categorize this lady there. I need to categorize her. And who are you talking about? Who? Nicola? Never heard that name. Who is that? I don't know. This strange lady from the chat room. I don't know who she is. I don't know. She's the devil. So that is what those people will, will think because she doesn't fit in anywhere. She must be the devil. See, they don't even hear the message, you know. So, and this guy says, I just want you to bang me. I want you to bang me. That's all I want. I want you to bang me. Okay. And Casper says, he's already talking to me. You can't have him. Okay. So, and so these are all very, very popular, popular people. And they're, they're, they're drunk on their popularity. And everything is kind of honky dory. Yeah. And so the queen, the goddess, she suffers much more. But, you know, she and she wants people also to, to be empowered. But there's a problem. There's one problem. Nicola has something to say to her, but she's not going to hear it. But Nicola is going to be standing on the tower ready to commit suicide. So. On her last day of re of ready being ready to jump from the tower, she has something to say to the marketplace down down there, and she says, she says, I'm kind of exhausted of of everything, you know. I'm exhausted. I don't know. I feel like, whew, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm here for Dave. I have to be here for Dave. Yeah, this is Dave. Dave and I together forever. Okay. As long as Dave goes, I go. Okay. But right now I have something to say from the tower of the marketplace. And what I want to say is that don't make the same mistake. I know, 
I know your goddess and everything, and you are much more involved than I am, and I'm totally okay with that. And everyone should be okay with that. Just don't make the mistake of making anyone into a ghoul, okay? Hmm? What is she saying? She must be Satan. Satan! Uh, no, I'm not Satan. I'm just, I have a message, and the message is don't make anyone into a guru. Okay, that's all I want to say. You know, is that so difficult to understand? Why do you always have to go this extreme or this extreme? Either mazo or zado or or bowing down or trampling on people? It's either this or this. It's either Donald Trump or Barack Obama or Democrat or Republican. It's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> common sense, rational sense, common sense is the wrong word. Rational sense, okay. common sense, oops, <laughs> common, se <laughs> common sense is not rational because it's common. Whatever is common isn't rational. Okay. So, but I want to change that. I want to, hello, I have a message for you down there. Okay. And I know I'm not above that queen. I'm just standing on a tower. That's all. A little bit depressed. That's all. And my message is don't make anyone into a guru. And don't go either into either extreme or anything. Okay? Don't bow down to anyone. But don't hurt anyone either. Why do you, why do you all have to be so violent always? Why do you all love these violent movies? Why do you get such a charge out of this? Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why do you want to hurt? Why do you like to see someone hurt? Why is this? Why do you want to adore some? Why do you want to worship someone? Why do you want to make people into gods? Why do you want to create gods? Why do you want to create something like this and then worship it? And, and do all kinds of terrible bending over backwards for these for these gods. Why do you want to do this? What is the point in this? She's Satan. Don't listen to her. She's a clown. She's a clown. What the fuck, you? You are a dork. No one's going to listen to you. We, we're busy. We're busy. We're busy worshipping her. Okay. So they don't hear anything I say. It doesn't matter. I could stand on my head. Who? Oh. No one looking even. No one listening. So why is this? Why do you have to worship anyone? Why do you have to worship violence? Why do you? Why are you so violent? Also the women. I see women violent. They have violent energy in their heads. They may not act it out like men, but they're violent in their in their heads. I talk to them. They look at me with violence. Everything about them is violent. The whole energy is so violent. I need. I feel like I need to do a puja afterwards. What is going on with all of you? Why are you so incredibly violent? And why are you so unconscious about everything? Why don't you want to become conscious? I know it's painful, but it's a lot better than being in that violent, brutal state. It's not good to be in that violent state and, and worship people and, and make them into gods and, and being, be pawns of someone. What did you say? We are pawns? That is so outrageous. Shut the fuck up. We are not pawns. Hello, queen. Hello, queen. Please give me attention. Give me your attention. I want attention, 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 attention. Now I'm getting the attention. Attention. I want your attention. Attention, attention. Now I want the attention. I want the attention. I want the attention. I want the attention. Please love me. Hey, I'm her boyfriend. Don't come too close to her. And the queen is, oh, 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 they all want me. 
Oh God, oh, oh my God, I'm gonna faint. This is hard. This is real hard. I need to prove, I need to prove myself. I need to prove myself. Why do you need to prove yourself? For what for? You've already proven that you are more than human. Why do you, why do you need to keep proving yourself, man, a uh, woman? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> It's like for me proving myself to making any effort of proving myself is so so super redundant and exhausting it's like what the what for what's the point in that what's the point in me proving myself you know i dropped out of university so what's the point of proving myself with anything right i wrote books no one no one even lo looking no one reads my books no one buys my books ever no, they'll do anything to bypass by buying my book. No, one guy actually wanted to read it, but he got it for free somehow. Yes, that's how, that's how it works. I guess some people figure out how to get these ebooks for free. So yeah, it was kind of it was kind of hurtful that, that he even told me that. Yeah. Kind of like, hey, I got your ebook for free. Oh, sorry, like. I, I've been helping you for weeks with holistic healing on Facebook and you can't even buy my itty bitty book for $9.99. <laughs> you can't even do that? Oh my God. Oh gosh. What's the point? What's the point in me even writing anything anymore or making any videos, right? There's just no point in it. Here, yeah, that's why I'm standing this close now. I'm standing this close to the edge. You know, I went to Hot Springs. I went to, I went diving in this spa. Here's the spa. I was diving and swimming and getting off the internet for 10 days. It's like, oh man, I'm off the internet. I can't get on the internet. Good. It's good. I'm in the spa. Now I'm back home. Now what? <laughs> no what? No what? Where next? Where next? Here? Into the marketplace with head over heels, literally. I'm gonna go head over heels into the marketplace. I don't know. I'm not, I don't feel like head over heels for any of these people. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even an acrobat. I'm the Zarathustra. That's who I am. I am Zarathustra. And no one is listening. And they're calling me clown. It is very painful. Yes, it is very painful, 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 painful. And when I say something, when I say that I am, I I think I have something to say. Then people will say, this guy will say, this guy will say, who do you think you are to put yourself on a pedestal like this? You're nobody. You know it. No one wants to hear your bullshit. So. But I have a message for you, and that message can help you. You should listen. The queen still doesn't know I exist, and neither does her boyfriend or husband. They don't know that I exist. Mm. They have a good life in a lot with spas. They go to spas all the time. Mm, spas, passion. Yes, it's very nice. They don't know the Caspar here. The Caspar doesn't even know them. They're not on the same frequency. Caspar and, and Seppel, they're into Hollywood. These people, they have something to say to the world. They have a message to the world. Okay. And Nicola loves them. I love you. And they don't know. And they didn't hear it. They don't know she exists. Okay. So... And she has to prove herself all the time because of childhood pain. Proving myself, see me, parents, mommy, daddy. See, why can't you see that I am someone? Why can't you see my amazing potential? Okay, let me, let me take their parents. Let me take, here's, the, here's her mother. Here's her mother. 
Her mother says, come help me make the cookies. Okay. So uh, the mother doesn't see her potential. It's like, what's that stuff? What are you doing there? This is weird stuff. But, so they don't see it. And here's the father. Here's the father. What are you doing? What is she doing again? What is she doing again? I'm proving myself to you. I want you to see. I want you to see how much I have accomplished. I am a master in everything. I'm the best in every sport and in every discipline. Okay? In everything. Everything I exceed with summa cum laude. Okay? Because I'm a goddess. Don't you see that? Goddess? Why do you have to struggle with them? I quit. I quit struggling with my parents. Uh, it doesn't make me feel much better either, but it makes me more free. I quit struggling with them. I did the same thing. I struggled, struggled, struggled. Look, see, look, see, I wrote books. Mm, yawn. Here's my, here's my dad. Yawn. Or, I want to make some videos. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, here's my mother. So, so, why is it, what's that for? What's this, what's that for? What's this, what's this, what's this, what's this doesn't make any sense. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you do some, something with your life? Something, do something you don't want to do. Uh, that's it. Much better. That's what everyone else does. Why don't you get in line? Why do you, why, why do you have to put yourself on a on this tower there? I'm on the tower because I'm sad, because I'm right at the edge. <laughs> right at the edge. I'm already drunk on depression. Right at the edge. I'm totally alone. Totally alone. Totally alone. Okay. Here is. Here's Paul. Here's, here's my husband. Here. <laughs> here's my husband. Come off this tower. Come off this tower now. Come off this tower. I give you a foot massage. Come off this tower. Come off this tower. Come off the tower. Come off the tower. Yeah, I'm driving the motor home. Yeah, come, come, come back into the motor home. Come back and your foot massage. You don't even hold my. You don't even give me a foot massage. You're just holding my foot with these light like a light hand like it's just uh you're holding my foot like very lightly and like you don't even want to hold my foot uh, it's not a massage at all i don't feel anything i don't feel any i don't feel like you're with me or anything you know? you're not with me dave is the only one dave dave is the only one who's with me and that's why I'm with Dave, Dave and I, together forever. We're making it through this. Yes, Papa Doc, we make it through this. Yes, my love. <laughs> yes, we're making it th through this. We are going through this, and we're doing it as good as we can, okay? We don't know how how else to do it. This is all we can do. We're, we're not goddesses and gods, okay? We're just... Uh, Sartustra and David Foster Wallace. Uh, that's all we are. You know? We don't know better. You know? So we're artists. We are writers. Yeah. We're, we have a message for the world. We're indigos. Um, Dave made it to, so, to angel level. Okay. And Paul is a light worker. I'm a light worker. Ho, ho, ho. I'm a light worker. So, what's up? All right, yay, here's the puppet dog coming. All right, all right, all right. So, okay, how do I conclude this video now? Yes, best of dog, all right. Yes, puppet dog, all right, all right, all right. Yes, angel, he's my angel, my, he's my crystal cola. The crystal cola, the papa doga. Yes, nice agora, okay. Very, very good. It is difficult to climb up those stairs when you are short. It is very, very, very difficult. It is indeed. So, 
Yes, and I'm sorry about that. Yes, I'm so, I'm sorry, my beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous hippopotamus. Okay, so I want to conclude this now, and I want to say I love you, goddess. I learn a lot from you. I'm not gonna be your follower though. And my message to the world is don't be anyone's follower. You can still listen to these people and hear them. And you also hear Judy Krishna Murti. Okay, here. Here's Judy Krishna Murti. This Judy Krishna Murti, the blue god in dark form. And um, so, but you know, this is actually. <laughs> Actually, actually, no, that's not Jiddu Krishnamurti. Jiddu, because Jiddu Krishnamurti is much bigger than than Dave. So actually, this is Dave. This is Dave. I'm going to put Dave here. This is Dave. Okay, there. That's Dave and I. And this is Jiddu Krishnamurti this year. This is Jiddu Krishnamurti. And this is our motorhome. It's Jiddu Krishnamurti. So Jiddu Krishna Murti, you know, he didn't want anyone to be his follower. He just he just said, be your own follower. Yeah. Test these things. Test them for themselves. You know, Kaspar and Zebel, they, they don't even know who Jiddu Krishna Murti is. Never even seen him, even though he's right next to, to them. They don't perceive him he, because he's vibrating on a different frequency. That's what it is. Okay, So Nicola and Dave are already on the lawn together. And Nicola loves the Dave. She's petting him. Okay. And this is great. <laughs> I love it. So, and Paul, he comes to join them. So, so Paul's petting the papa dog too. Okay. Then all of these people, they turn their back towards Nicola. Okay. And it is very lonely. And I want to make all of this here, this entire, everything that you see here, I want to make this into commercialized 3d prints and have it have it also 3d painted i mean like a, have it have it paint coat put on just like we put this here into the scanner and then have it just have made replicas of all of these things for children to play with, that would be really awesome. That's what that's what I want to do. That's my dream for the future, to have this. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take this here to the other room. Papa dog. And I want to talk a little bit more until my camera runs out. So I'm going to turn this light on here. Okay. Turn the light on. I don't know if this is showing, <clears throat> sort of, okay, okay, I need to sit down, I'm already sweating, um, what I'm trying to say is that we need to become aware that we don't worship anyone, but don't go the other extreme and throw their books away. Read it. Read it. Listen to everyone. Listen to what people have to say. Okay. Don't discard it because it doesn't fit into your religion or it goes against your ego or it might be a challenge to that what you grew up with or something. You know? But listen to it. Read it. Inspect it. Test it out. See in, see if it works. Maybe it works. Maybe it's something that actually works. I'm going to take this over here. Have a dog arrived. I feel like I have fever also. This rash made me have fever, I think. So 
so but it doesn't matter I, it's, I just want to the reason why I show my face is because of I want people to know that I'm not anonymous I'm I'm an old hag but I'm not anonymous and I'm not pretty like that Morgan Adams so Morgan Adams is gorgeous that's the next Marilyn Monroe so but anyway and I can say this you know, I'm jealous also but I can say it I can say it because I look the truth in the face and I'm not gonna say it with hate or with a grudge or yeah Morgan Adams is much more beautiful than I am and I ever was okay it has much more gorgeous body shape and everything and and um, She's not complicated like I am, you know, she's, she's easygoing, you know, she's grateful, she's happy, and people can identify with her, yeah. she seems powerful, you know, she doesn't have mental illness, so uh, even though a lot of people have mental illness, they don't want to associate with it. They, because they run away from it, so they'd rather not deal with it. They'd rather just look at someone who is all glam because it feels better. It covers up the pain. So, but that's not, of course, that's not looking at the truth. The truth is you suffer, most of, most of you, almost everyone. Truth is you suffer. And you run away from it. And then you see someone who is like this power horse, man or woman, and then you, you latch on to it like a pawn. And you go, oh, this is awesome. What a goddess. Amazing. Oh, I worship you. Blah, blah, blah. And then they want to be with her. They want to be around her. And as she said herself, you know, because she doesn't act in a way where she has people kind of carrying her wheels or something, you know. She doesn't do this. She doesn't have anyone catered. Like, people volunteer to make food. I, I, my husband makes me food to eat sometimes because I'm too depressed. So, and people share their tasks, and, and that's all cool. She doesn't want people to be, like... She doesn't want people to to be cult members and worshiping her. She just wants, uh, wants friends and she wants to help people and she is helping people. But this is what happens. She invites people into her life and then she has a bunch of people living with her. And then... And then they they think that they're equals in a bad way, in a neurotic way. Yeah. We're all equals already. But people, they think suddenly that they have risen like an elevator, like the elevator took them up to her level. But just perception, they were already on, we're already on the same level. We're all on the same level. Why do you have to do this? putting people on a pedestal. Why do you put yourself underneath is the question. That's the biggest question, really. Why do you put yourself underneath? Is it childhood pain? Because parents ignored you and put you down and then the ego becomes volatile later on, like that guy who sla sla tried to slash these two women in Australia at, at Salt Creek. At, that prisoner, uh, that this big tall guy who kept on bringing women into into this remote area in in Australia, and then he he sodomized them to death. 
Yeah, I don't know what the, if that's the right word. Is he brutalized them to death? So, like, where does this come from? You know, where where does the sado mazo behavior come from? Mazo is violent too. It's just it's just as violent. The same violent energy. You know, why do you have to in worship someone? That's violent to worship someone. That's a violence against yourself and even against the person you're worshiping. We want to be friends. We don't want to have hierarchies. A hierarchy is not love. A hi hierarchy, building hierarchies is the opposite of love. Okay, so I, I hope I get this message across. Love is compassion. Okay, and compassion doesn't know hierarchy. Okay, compassion is we're all we're all equally precious okay you guys take care bye